They call it the Asus Rogue Flow X13, a 13.4 inch laptop, thin and light, with the latest Ryzen 9 5900HS and RTX 3050 Ti graphics. As if it couldn't get any better, you can actually get this laptop with an XG Mobile, which is a on-the-go external GPU that provides an RTX 3080 you can plug directly into the laptop and get beast mode performance. Now, that full review with that external mobile GPU is gonna come later. Right now, I'm gonna focus on if you just bought this laptop as a 3050 Ti with a Ryzen 9 5900HS. First and foremost, I'm gonna correct a couple things that I mentioned in my unboxing. On this side of the laptop, you can actually plug in a USB Type-C and a USB Type-C on this side as well. I've also heard that the XG Mobile, which I'll be doing a review in the future, comes with many ports on it. So once you plug in to the USB Type-C, not only will you have more ports on your XG Mobile, but your XG Mobile will also power the laptop. So you'll have this open USB Type-C on this side. This laptop is also a two-in-one laptop, something that I was so excited about them during this laptop that I forgot to mention the two-in-one capabilities. Now, the laptop that I'm reviewing did not come with a pen, so make sure you do a little research when you're ordering the laptop to see if the version you're ordering comes with a pen, okay? Mine did not. Now, one thing I wanna point out as we are here is the color gamut range. Color gamut range is good on this laptop. It's not stellar, it's not 100% Adobe RGB, um, but it is still great for the price point of this laptop. And if you're curious about the exact pricing and available availability of this laptop, you can head down in the description below and click that link. Now, if you do make a purchase of that link, I will get a small commission, but at no extra cost to you. And that's what keeps this channel alive and the helpful content coming your way. Now, let's go ahead and take a quick look at the webcam. This is the webcam on the Asus Flow X13. A little on the red side, but overall, it'll do the job for any video conferencing that you need to handle. I did a full unboxing of this laptop, so if you're curious about the build quality, ergonomics, and usability, I'd check out that video in the YouTube cards above. But let's not waste any more time and jump right into the performance, which is what I am super excited about. As we're looking at Cinebench R20, R23, and Geekbench single core and multi-core, you can see that this laptop really packs a punch and in such a small package. I'm not the biggest fan of simulated benchmarks, so let's go ahead and jump into some of the real world tests. Looking at 3D modeling, this laptop does well. It does not absolutely kill it because it does have a RTX 3050 Ti, which is only a four gig VRAM graphics card, but it still will hold its own very well. But if you're considering some serious 3D modeling, I'd recommend you checking out something like the Asus Zephyrus G14, which I will have a head-to-head -head review of with this laptop coming out on the channel. So keep an eye on the YouTube cards above for that one. However, as we move into After Effects, this laptop really holds its own. I keep mentioning how much of a thin and light package this is, and it's amazing to see the performance that comes out of it, with the standard After Effects benchmark and the After Effects render benchmark. Moving on to video editing in Premiere Pro, you can see from 1080p all the way up to 6K video editing, this laptop had solid export times, and regarding playback, we had no problems at 1080p, smooth playback at 4K, a little bit of hesitation at B-RAW, and then some struggles at red footage, but that's pretty normal with most laptops. That red footage is just so beefy. It's really hard for a lot of laptops to get through it smoothly. Now, something new I'm gonna add to this video that hasn't been in any other video in the past is the thermal, fan noise, and export time at every single setting in the Asus Command Center. So you can check that out right here. Jumping into Photoshop, you can see that this laptop is neck and neck with the Asus Zephyrus G14. So if you're gonna be a Photoshop user and you want a thin and light on the go laptop, you have found a great pick. Again, we're gonna check out the fan noise, temperatures, and score at each Asus Command Center setting.
Regarding battery life, this is one area that I was so hopeful this laptop would stand up to the test, and I'm happy to say that it did. The reason this matters so much to me is I've been looking for an on-the-go laptop that not only has a long battery life, but also packs a punch in performance in case I need to do some on-the-go video editing. And this laptop did not disappoint. As you can see, the different battery life tests coming up on the screen now. I use the Photoshop Puget Systems benchmark on loop with the computer at half brightness and continue to run that until the battery runs dead. For the 4K playback, I run a 4K project on loop until the battery runs dead, and that's how I got those results. I'm trying super hard not to fanboy about this laptop. It has fantastic temperatures, great performance, solid build quality, great color accuracy. The only thing, literally one of the only things I can find to critique about this laptop is the trackpad is not as quiet as I would hope for. Other than that, this is going to be my new on-the-go laptop. Now, the Acer Swift X has come out, and I'm trying to get my hands on one because I feel like that's gonna be one that's gonna be a real head-to-head -head battle, and we'll see if it dethrones this laptop as my on-the-go pick. But for now, links if you're ready to make a purchase, likes if this video has brought you some value, and subs if you don't miss out on the future episodes. I'll see you guys here in the next one. They're gonna yell at me for liking it so much. They're gonna say, you're a fanboy. This is a paid review. This wasn't a paid review. I wish it was a paid review. Wanna do a paid review, Asus? Let's do it. Yep, see you guys later.